Guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So, in this video, I am going to show you how to write a scalable code as a beginner if you are working on a project. So, this video is going to be very helpful. So, it will help to understand how to write a scalable code and how to maintain the quality of code. So, it will definitely give you a plus point if you mention these points in your interview. And if you include these things in your project, your project will complete in the half of the time. So we will discuss about how to write scalable code and all other things which contain which maintain the quality of the code consistency across the multiple apps or multiple projects which you are on working so don't further delay let's start the video if you are new to our channel then please subscribe the channel for more content now let's start the video so to explain the scalable code how the scalable things work so let me open my Android studio first and then i will show you so before moving ahead first of all I want to give a difference between what is a scalable type of a scalable code which you can write. So there are two kind of scalability. One is let us suppose you are writing a some code and you want to make a change at one place. And let us suppose there are similar hundred things related to that and you want to make change at every place. So on that time, if you are just copy pasting the things in your project, then you have to make go and make change everywhere in your project. So that is not scalable and not a quality code. So I will tell you how to write that second thing second type of scalability like you don't want to change on app side and you just want to get the values from backend and then it will reflect your application that is a different level of scale but for personal projects you don't need that kind of scale so here I am referring related to a scalable code is the to maintain the quality to maintain the consistency to replicate the things in a easy way and don't av avoid copy pasting the things and we will how to do it in a better manner so there are lots of things which you can take care while developing a project so this will definitely gonna help you if you are a beginner so don't forget today now let's start the video so the first thing which you should know as a, if you want to write a scalable code always use includes in your application instead of copy wasting so what I am saying here let me show an example so let us suppose I just open this screen this is Hmm, this one activity main so here you can see this is the UI so it can be any kind of UI related to your application this is just a my UI so I just add this UI in here so now if you are a beginner what you do mostly let us suppose if you want to create this kind of UI first of all I will say to stop the video here and try to think how you can create this and then I will tell you the better way to create this kind of thing so now let me tell you how to create this in a better way so when you open this so if you in this layout you can see i just included a toolbar item here so why i included a toolbar item here you can create your own toolbar right for this screen but let us suppose if you have a 50 screens in your application so are you gonna copy paste the toolbar again and again in each screen well you may say right you have to copy paste but what is the benefit if you don't copy paste and if you include so let us suppose you can see this is just a toolbar item so here you can see it just contain a title and a icon and just a back icon so whenever you want whenever you include this toolbar in particular xml so let us suppose you have a 50 xml similar which also contain the toolbar so if you want to change the font of a particular toolbar if you want to change the font of the toolbar or the text size of the toolbar so you have to make the change in at 50 places but on the same time if you just include this layout so you don't have to make change everywhere and you just have to make change inside this and then it will gonna work and it is gonna reflecting in your entire application so let us suppose if i just give the size here 30 sp so you can see it is gonna reflect everywhere in the app wherever you are using this toolbar item so this is very handy if you are developing a good code and if you want to write a clean code so because toolbar is a most basic thing or most common thing of each activity so you have to understand the difference between when to include the layout or when to just copy paste so in this case this is gonna use everywhere in the project so it will be better if you just create a separate xml and just include in your project now let's move ahead now if i show you this is the CSS scroll view and inside scroll view you can see this is a linear layout which contain these things pending 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 and all things 
now i just included a order status item so if you just go inside this so it just it just contain image view and a text so whenever this activity is going to inflate or whenever your main activity is going to inflate you have just have to include you can see this is the cleanliness of code this just contain a six includes and it is appearing very cleaner because all the font sizes and all the padding and equal we need in the all items so now you if you want to just show the different state here you can just do it programmatically based on the condition like pending order accepted order declined transaction successful order arrived order success and all other things but on the same thing you need a same font and same other thing so here if you instead of including if you just copy paste the things it is going to mess up everything if you have to make change in a slight padding in one layout then you have to make change in all layout so that is the benefit of include so you need to understand how to utilize include in your layouts so include is a very powerful thing you should use it and if you are working on any project always try to use include as much as possible if you have a common layouts so this is the first thing which you should know if you are building in some things quality code and something scalable so this is the first thing and below if i show you this, this is just a, another example of include this is all similar so i just included it and uh, on the same time i can set the text programmatically on my main activity based on the condition so i don't have to use anything here now second thing if you want to write a good code so your views always should be gone this is the first principle so why i am saying this let us suppose you are fetching a data from api and on the time you want to show the loader so it is always better if you are writing a code in xml your views always should be gone so if you see here my view is gone here and let me show this is the you can see this is gone here by default but i just included the tools visibly visible so it is just a visible here due to this but in if you run this activity in real world it is not going to show because tools is just for xml purpose and it is not going to reflect in your while the run time so always make sure if you are working on any project or if you are working on any xml always try to make the views visibility by default gone so it is it will not interrupt your ui and it will make your application transition smooth while fetching the data instead of writing boilerplate code on the on fetch api to make the gone and all other things so this is the second thing which you should consider while writing a good code now third example i have i can show you always try to make a view utils function and in view utils you have to you can use anything and any whatever you want related to or which can be used common so let us suppose i came across a one thing let us suppose i have a project and it contain 20 screens and i want to i want a different status bar coloring e screen and somewhere i don't need status bar color some somewhere i need status bar color so it was very hectic for me if i just copy paste the status bar code and every, each and every activity so what i did i just created this function set up status bar remove light status bar add light status bar and set status bar color so what i have to do now now i just have to pass the color pass the activity and i can use it from anywhere wherever i want so if i want set any color in any status bar i don't have to remember or copy paste the code at each place this is just a view utils function will do i have to just pass the activity and pass the color so this is the benefit of utilizing view utils type something so always better if you have something similar always try to create a common function and just move into the separate classes and then you can use it from anywhere and it will definitely make your code much cleaner much smoother and also give you a plus point if you create project using this second example you can see if let us suppose we have a multiple screen and where we are just showing the keyboard or we can say we have a multiple views so on the time if i want to hide the keyboard on particular operation so one thing i can do i can just copy paste the things and all other things i can do normally but as a good developer you what you can do you just have to pass the view i just created this extension function you just need to call this function hide keyboard and it will hide your keyboard just from the context instead of using anything so this is amazing thing now let's move to the next thing which i want to show related to a quality code so base preference manages something so let us suppose this is very common thing while creating a project we want to use the preference managers or shared preferences in our project so what we used usually do as a beginner i also did this same thing i just write the code in my main activity and then let us suppose if i want base preference manager in my logout screen or profile screen i just created the same things again and again instead of that 
what you can do just create object class or base preference manager and from that just pass the just create these functions like if you want to put string if you want to clear if you want to get string just create the functions here and then directly call the function from wherever you want from multiple activities so what why it will beneficial so you have to just write this code one time and you don't you just need to call these functions so you don't have to manage anything you just need to call these functions from wherever you want and it will definitely gonna help you now second example is also related to utils so let us suppose you have a uh, multiple screens because I, why I'm talking again and again about multiple screen because in a big if you creating a project of one or two screens then it is not gonna problem but if you are creating a big project which can contain 10 15 or 20 screens then it is gonna very headache so on that time your quality should be much cleaner and your code should be much clean in a cleaner way otherwise you will be end up mess up things while making changes so now let's move on to the next thing let us suppose ncv state handler i just created this so let us suppose i just created this for a dummy content and i am not able to show this in real app but let us suppose you i just created let me show in activity main xml file so here you can see i just include the layout here empty data show dialog so we if we are working on project let us suppose you are fetching data from an from an api so there will be always multiple conditions like there is no data or no items present at the back end something went wrong maybe internet not connected or anything which you want to show with error state so what we usually do we used to write the code same and same in each screen so instead of that what we can do just create a this kind of function or class and it will handle the states so you just need to pass the view and just pass the context and pass the type whatever you want to show so let us suppose i created the multiple types so i can you reuse the same screen at each place so let us suppose if i have chat screen i can just pass the no content view type no chat if i have something went wrong i just pass the type something went wrong so it will help to maintain the consistency across the project same color same padding same view type and all other things and it is also going to very scalable and it is also going to maintain the quality of code and it will also very less effort so hope you understand how these things work how to maintain the quality as a beginner now let me show one more example of related to scalable things so now if you want to use something i already uploaded a video related to custom view so it will be always better if you have a view let us suppose you tap on a button and you want to show loader on that button so what we usually do just created a loader here just make the visibility of button go on progress bar visible and all other things so instead of that just create a custom view which contain both things button and loader so i just give the name here p button with loader and if i show the xml of this so you can see it contain this button and a loader so what you can do now this extension function now this custom view will handle all other things you just need to call the function like p button loader dot show loader high loader so it will automatically manage the all the things so you don't need to write each and everything again and again so that is the benefit if you are using a custom view in your project so let us suppose you are want to use the same button across the app so it will also maintain the consistency so you you will have a same across font size across entire screens you have a same color of the button and entire screen same padding and same other things so this is gonna very helpful now related to button something similar i also have so if you see here so let us suppose always create a styles as well if you are want to create a consistency across the application so you can see this is the just button and i just created a style so here you can see in in this style i already mentioned the all required things like a background text color text size text all gaps and all other things so let us suppose if i have to create one more button with a different loader then i can just use this same style so it will maintain the consistency between both two buttons so that is how the consistency quality and scale work together this is not a backend scale but this is something which you can maintain app side which will gonna definitely be helpful so this is one more example now let me show the last example related to this and then we will end this video so let me tell you one more example we all have a web views in our application let us suppose you are on home screen and you want to show a privacy policy url related to your application terms and condition url or how to use url so what you can do may mostly what we will do we will just pass the we create a separate activity and just pass the url or something and we will then web view will handle these things 
but how to do in a better way instead of passing the url always just create a companion object in your activity and just mention the urls here and just pass the type from your pass activity so if you want to open the web view from home activity just pass the type like what you want to open so just pass the title and just pass the type whatever the whatever kind of url you want to open so here you can see you just need i need to just pass from the intent just open the privacy policy url and the title should be on toolbar will be anything whichever i use i want and now one more example of better code you can see this is just a cleaner way to write the code you can see in on create i don't have too much code it is very minimal code code and rest of the code inside the function most of the beginner developers what they do they do all the code inside this on create and then end up messing the things so you always have to maintain the sanity always create a separate function for each thing like let us suppose if i am opening a web view so first of all what i for web view what i need i need a url so i just create the function web view url so it will get the url from the intent then after that i want to set the status bar based on my context and then i want to set the toolbar title so let us suppose if i opening privacy policy i want to show the toolbar title privacy policy so i just got that thing from a intent as well and after that what i have to do inside this i just checked if the my thing is connected with internet then just have to i have to load the web view and else i have to show the error state so inside error state you can see i just using my own function ncv state handler and passing the something went wrong if something is went wrong so it will automatically gonna show it will automatically gonna come inside this condition and it will just show something went wrong or try again so you don't have to handle these things again and again and now inside all load web view so the you can see the each function doing their own work or i can say the single work so if i have to load the web view the web view what need only a url so i just pass the url here so if i pass the if you can see this function contain only url so it will just load this thing and if something went wrong so it will happen it will handle the error state so this is just a easy way to understand to explain how to write a good code as a beginner i also done lots of mistake while developing application so if i know these things earlier so my code will be much cleaner way so it could definitely help me to create a scalable things in a much easy way and it will it can also save my time and your time as well while building the projects so this is just a one example i will try to include other things in next part of the video as well so i hope guys you like the video i uploaded this video after so after so long time so Mm, same thing maybe my voice or maybe something breaking so sorry for that so i will try to upload the video continuously again and i will trying to get on back track on my youtube so i hope guys you like the video so if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the video so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you